Hello and welcome back. I am Nate T. Bird, and today I will be showing you how to create a sequential activation device in Minecraft. What this device does is it has a single input, and every time it is activated will activate a different output in a sequence. So the first time I push this button, it will activate output 1. Then the second time I push this button, it will activate output 2. And the third time I push this button, it will activate output 3. How this works is really quite simple. This command block has a set block command that will place a redstone block to a certain set of coordinates. The coordinates it's, it sets it at are right here. So when you activate this device, when you push the button, it will place a redstone block right here, which will activate this command block. Now this command block is a set block command that will place a command block to a certain set of coordinates with the command of set block. So really all this does is it replaces this command block with another command block that has a slightly different command. Really the only thing that's different are the coordinates for the redstone block. So that the next time this command block is activated, it will place a redstone block right here instead of right there. And then once again, it activates this command block, which is another set block command that places a command block with a different command in it. So it replaces this command block to have a new command so that it places a redstone block right there the next time it is activated. So one last time for the demonstration, when we push this button, it places a redstone block right there. Then immediately after, this command block gets destroyed by this command block and it now has a new set of coordinates so that the next time we activate it, it will activate output 2 right there and then the third time it activates output 3. So now on to the tutorial. To make things easier, I will be using an MC Edit filter made by Seth Bling which allows me to place a sign, write a name on it, and then refer to the coordinates of that sign inside of command blocks. Once I run the filter, it will replace anywhere where I referred to that name on the sign with the actual coordinates for that sign. Now, with that out of the way, I can get on to showing you how you would actually build this. You will start by determining where the input command block will be. So right here, we have an input signal. And we, if we had a command block right here, it would be activated when we push this button. So you'll place a sign there. and you'll put the word input on it. We'll use this to refer to the coordinates of this sign later on in the tutorial. But for now, just put the sign and put input on it. We'll then determine where our output will go. We will place two command blocks with one air block in between. And at that air block, right in between, we'll put a sign with the word output and then the number of whatever whatever item this is in the sequence. If this is the first item, we will put the number one. And then we will do this for all of the different items in our sequence. If we have three items in our sequence, then we will do this three times. Each time we'll put the sign that says output. And then in this case, this is output two because it is the second item in the sequence or the second item to be activated. And then output three because that will be the third item and that's as many items as I want for this sequence but you can definitely go on and do as many as you'd like and they don't just have to be in a row but for the sakes of this tutorial and making things look nicer they're gonna be in a row now to draw the output the actual output or any sort of a redstone signal you'll draw that from the block in between the two command blocks you can draw it from any side you can draw it with a repeater, or you can just put a command block, any anything that you want, and this will activate our output. It could be another redstone device, it could be a bunch of command blocks. Whatever your output needs to be, that's what it should be. Uh, an example of some outputs that you could do would be a wave spawning system. So having this going into a whole bunch of different command blocks that would all have summon commands that would summon different monsters. I actually used this in a map that I recently made called Dungeon Arena 2 and if you want to 
maybe see this in action and I suggest checking out that map uh, the link will be in the description but for the sakes of this tutorial we're just gonna have the output be a say command that will say one that will notify us that this is the first output and it was activated and then each other output will just be a say command with say two and then this will be say three so once you have all your outputs built then you can start writing the commands for the different command blocks the bottom command block will be a set block command that will set the block directly above it to air so immediately once the redstone block gets placed it will be replaced with air this just makes sure that the activation device is a one tick pulse and not longer and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this to copy and paste it I just hit control A and then control C I hit done and then to paste it I could put push control V and that's a very simple and easy way to do it so all of these bottom command blocks will be the set block air command and then the top command blocks are gonna be a bit more complicated but I will try my hardest to explain it well uh, it is a set block command that will place a command block at the location of the input sign so the first sign that we put uh, the input sign we will then once we run the filter replace this um, this word the dollar sign input with the actual coordinates of that sign and then we have it replace and the command block that it sets will have a special NBT data um, for the command so that it will already have the command written in it of set block uh, redstone block at the location of the output to sign so yeah I'm gonna try to make this simple so this is the uh, the first output and so when we activate this for the first time it will activate this output and so when it activates this command block we want it to prepare the first initial input command for the next output so what it does is basically um, it, it, it replaces the command of the command block to have the coordinates of the next item in the sequence so because this is the output second output when it gets activated we want to prepare it for the third output uh, all the rest of the command is the exact same except for just the number of the output and then on this final one the final output will just be output one so once it reaches the end we're gonna start over with the very first output so the basic rules of how to edit these different commands is just whatever output it is on the output in the command block will need to be one more than that and then on the very last one it will be uh, just output one so I hope that made sense if not I don't know what else to do but just try it for yourself and hopefully you can figure it out that is it for right here now we're gonna have to go into MC edit run the filter and then do a little bit more afterwards but I will see you in MC edit so here we are in MC edit what we want to do is select the entire region make sure that we have all of the command blocks and signs selected then we go down to filter make sure that we have command block signs selected and then we hit filter you should notice that all of the signs disappear if they don't there may be something wrong but you can deal with that later and you hit control s once you're satisfied to save it all and that's all we have to do here but i will show you the final result in minecraft here we are back in minecraft we have one last thing left to do before we get this system up and running we go to the final item in our sequence and we put a button on the top command block we then push that button and it should place this input command block right here this will get the entire system primed and ready to go so now we can test it out uh, activates output one then the second time output two and the third time output three so it works properly and that is it for this tutorial I hope this helped if you have any questions then please let me know I'll try to answer them as best I can. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. That is always greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more tutorials or map making things from me, 
then make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much, and have a great day.